Welcome back everyone to episode two of my Hitman Freelancer campaign. In the first episode, we went through three levels. We did the one in Dubai as the showdown, and then we also had a visit to Chongqing and what was the other one? Marrakesh, that was where we went. So we're gonna begin the next leg of our campaign here. You always have the same eight choices to pick from as far as your campaigns. The one that we probably want to do this time just for fun, I think is going to be organ trafficking because this is usually ones where you have to get kills using melee weapons. Uh, you can see you have deadly throw, neck breaker, axe kill, knife kill. They also have a selection of poison options and that's going to be a nice way to get into this second leg because we now have the seeker that we can use to poison some targets. And it looks like all four of these are going to be maps that we had not done in the first leg. You will see some repeats occasionally, but I, I do think just for fun, it'll be better to see individual uh, maps, new maps, every single uh, step of the way if possible. So this is a good one. Let's go ahead and do this. So you can see on the map here, there is one highlighted map in Bangkok. This territory we have to do without dying. If we die here, the campaign ends. So this is one where you, you need to play it as cautious as you can, killing the targets and getting out safely because if you do die, the whole thing ends. The rest of these, if we die, the campaign continues, but all the levels become highlighted as uh, alerted territories. Let's see what we gotta do here. Poison the target with sedative. A rare melee takedown. We can probably do that fairly easily and hide the target bodies. So the sedative and the hiding target bodies might be a little tricky, but we'll give it a shot. Silent assassin, no firearms. Oof. We'll give it a shot, but I'm not guaranteeing that we'll be able to do this one. And as far as silent takedown with a rare melee, my best choice is going to be this right here, the concealable baton. It is a rare item, and if we need to hide it, it hides very easily. Plus, and I don't think this is the case, we could get, pa uh, get past uh, frisking attempts, but I don't think there's any area where you have to pass a security checkpoint. At least none that come to mind. Gas, a tripwire mine, and emetic. I think my choice would be the tripwire mine, but I'm probably never going to need to use this. It's an option if I have to blow something up, but we want two things here. We want the crowbar and we want that seeker. I may not have any options for putting people to sleep. Certainly not a target, because that would require us to find one that will drink. And I think there was a safe and a courier. Good. So I have plenty of options to get some extra dough if we need it. No need for the fiber wire here. What we do want though, just to get the courier is the banana. That should just be a, a go-to every single mission is to find one banana. Or take one banana with you rather. Come on. There we go. So if you want, you don't have to go to the safe house to leave. It'll pick one of your vehicles randomly if you do that. However, if you want, you can just go straight to the vehicle that you want to use. We'll use the hearse and drive to your destination. Safe journey, Fortissa. I don't know. The way that vehicle's back end is pivoting, I think he's driving pretty dangerous. <laughs> Welcome to Bangkok. The Syndicate is currently operating in the area. Find them and eliminate. But this is not going to be easy. Previous actions have put them on high alert, so you need to be tactical. Good luck, All Fortissa. right, I'll be careful. You'll be dead. All right, so we have a safe on this floor, and it is in a room that is closed off, so that could be a problem. Now, there's a chance, and I'm not guaranteeing this, that 
we'll be able to get to it from a window outside in the center of the area here. Or the guy could literally just let me in. Unbelievable. Sometimes people do dumb things. I'm not worried about the silent assassin. Not a big deal. I'm going to get that much money just from... Uh oh. Oh, no. Hey, what up? Get over here. Thank you for the outfit. Nosy jerk. <laughs> and I'll take your handgun. And let's get to sleuthing out those three clues. They're almost certainly all going to be in here. There's the first one. Second one, maybe third are going to be in here. There's a second. Third one. Maybe in the bathroom. And right there. Easy cash. Crack this bad boy open. Get that money. Ooh, almost four grand. That was a good save. I'm glad I went after this one. All right, so our three targets, one of them's going to be upstairs in the recording studio, one's going to be in the kitchen, and one is going to be wandering back and forth downstairs in the waiting room area. So we needed to take one of them down with the baton and if possible use a sedative. The guy in the waiting room area, not the waiting room, the uh, dining area, that one will probably be able to do by poisoning them with sedative. Now it says poison the target. It doesn't say they have to be killed immediately. We poison them, let them get up, and then find an easier way to take them out. Thankfully, I think most of the staff area is accessible as the police officer. It is. But unfortunately, it looks like the target knows we're not a police officer. All right, so let's see what he does. There's also the head chef, and he knows that I am not a police officer. Uh -oh. And they still can't believe their luck. Uh, Is that the hotel manager? No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Exactly. Uh, oh, I need to go up here to get into the center area. There we go. Unfortunately, the hotel manager is also patrolling the grounds. That lady always knows you're not supposed to be here. Camera's not a big deal. Ooh, that's an option. Let's do that. So worst case scenario, I can stick someone with the syringe and that'll be a quick kill. Hopefully that won't be necessary. All right, so there's the first one. The second one, hard to tell where they went. Did I already get that? Oh, yeah, I already got the, the box. All right, so... Where does that guy go? Where does that lady go? Yeah, Hop the window. Is on high alert. Yeah, whatever. Shush. Alright, so there. That may be a good candidate for a lethal syringe if she does not go anywhere private. But I also brought the seeker dart. So if, if I have to, usually you can get someone as long as you're without or, or not within, say, 10 feet of a guard. You can usually shoot them and no one will notice. Perfect. So first, oh, shoot. 
We'll give it a try. This could go south very quickly. Got her. And no one was the wiser. So I'll just wait for her to go somewhere. Hopefully a bathroom. There's a bathroom right around the corner here she could go to. If she goes to the railing, we might be in trouble. And we'll take this opportunity, if she goes in the bathroom, to pop her in the back of the head, and that'll be that. We'll wait for her to go somewhere secluded, though. She is going to the bathroom. Her routing is a little bit convoluted. I think I can get through here without them noticing. Yeah, we're all right. I can get in front of her. She won't do anything while she's sick. She can see through the disguise as well, but as soon as you make someone ill, they stop paying attention. Uh, okay, let's just all right. Let's be a quick, safe easy out kill. There, security man. The only time this might not be an easy kill is if they go in a bathroom with someone already in there. But really, they vomit long enough that you can almost always take them down before anyone comes in. Alright, we gotta wait. If you don't wait, you actually can't complete it. They cannot be woken up or you can't have anyone notice well it. Done, 47. This will surely be a blow to the syndicate. Now let's get out of here before anyone goes in the bathroom. She may be walking in there. Doesn't look like that was the case. All right, next one. We did see that this was a chef. If he tastes any of the food, which is possible, but not guaranteed, we can poison that. That'll knock him unconscious, and then we can do what we need to to kill him. I don't know if he'll ever taste anything that we can poison, though. He's not tasting that. Also, we can't actually poison it. Uh oh, someone found my target. <laughs> this would also be a good candidate for a poison dart if necessary. Or, worst case scenario, we just follow him into the kitchen. Uh oh. I can't help you, I'm not really a police officer. Or a guard, whatever these guys are. Security? Alright, he's going to the kitchen. See what he does. If you're going to do two poisons, the best thing to do is wait. Because if it's this close to the bathroom, he's going to route there as well. And you don't want him going in there while there's a guard investigating. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to poison him. Not with the sedative. We're going to have to do a syringe. Or if I get really lucky, he might walk somewhere quieter. But I think he just sticks around in here. Yeah. Alright, so we still can't do anything. There's a guard right there. And he is not happy about what he's found here. I might be better off going for the other target right now while we're waiting. We'll give him a second. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, they're doing a pincer on me! Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. The head chef got distracted. Oh! Nope. I don't know what's going on, guys. Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't worry. He won't do anything. In this way, and we lost him. Hopefully, I'm not compromised. Nope. 
curious, but not compromised. And in fact, he's already done looking. He's going to come back out this way, but I think that uh, I think all he's going to do now is he's going to go into the bathroom, bag up the body and then drag it out. And then we can try to get this guy. What's in this? Catfish, minutes. I just need him to cooperate and go back in the kitchen. Oh, come on. Pick the seeker. Reload the seeker. And while we got a spare moment, run back this way. Whoop. Yep. And then when he comes back this way and then routes to the left, I'll poison him. Eventually. All right, and the guard is dragging the body out now, so we should have a good chance to... I'll drown this one, I think, instead of beating him over the head and breaking his neck. In fact... No. That's a long shot, so the dart is not terribly accurate. It's easier to shoot them from a short distance. Uh oh. Oh, come on, guys. Seriously? Post up here. <laughs> hey, guy, what's going on? He's going to put him in cold storage. What? All right. Quick. Got him. Uh-oh. Someone noticed. I don't know what's going on, guys. I can't help you. I don't know. Weird. Here's good news. I have a box I can hide in right here. And as long as this guy keeps going for the bathroom, and I think he will, maybe. He's still sick, right? Oh, no, he's hiding. Oh, I might be in trouble. I might have to just go guns blazing. Come on, you're still sick, though, dude, right? Ah, oh, the sick got interrupted. Boo. All right. Time for plan B. A far less elegant solution, but we'll get it done. Let's do it the back way, though. We don't want to go where all the people saw me. And we also need a quick hiding spot as soon as we do it, since we can't use the guard outfit anywhere in there. Doors open. Doors open. Is there one in here? There sure is. That'll be easy enough. All right, well, let's take care of this idiot. Syndicate member eliminated. Well done, 47. Done. Now just wait. All right, and back to what they were doing. In fact, the two guys in here had no idea that I did that. <laughs> they just heard the gunshot panicked. So I can get out. All right. Again, sometimes it's not the most elegant thing, but the important part is that we complete the kills and get out of here without being killed, because if we die here, it's all over. All right. Oh, they're still looking outside. It's all right. Uh-oh. Can't go that way. We want to get in, and I can probably do it. Security, oh. See Managers here. Assured, I will let you know. Sweep around the other way. Oh, come on. What are you doing? She's taking the most circuitous route to get back to her office. Hey, boys. What's up? 
Nice day for it, isn't it? I know. Excuse me. Are you quite sure it is safe keeping these pesticides oh. so close to the ventilation fan? All right, give it a second. He usually goes in, I think, to that back room. Even at very large doses. See? Oh, there's a box back there. I wonder if it's worth the risk trying to get to it. Yes, it is, because we can get past him. And we get, ooh, get the explosive golf ball. In a pinch, you can just throw that and kill people. Upstairs. We're all right. Well, what I want to do is we want to get into, I think we can do it here, a room with a balcony. So we need to get to the third floor. And there's a pipe you can climb right there. To the top. He'll see us, but I don't think he does anything about it. Well, maybe he does. You better get the hell out of here, man. Okay, okay, calm Can down. Help me with Dingus. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, you! Trespassers will be shot! Hold okay. it right there! Hey, you are dead. in the back. A Whoa, that was gunshot. Let's do this, boys. Oh, God. Oh, God. Help. Help me, please. Help me. No and guess what? They have no idea I'm here. Don't get spotted by anyone trying to pick up the bodies. We want to go after this guy. Whatever he's going to do. That poor maid who walked in there just to clean the toilet is like, oh, God, I'm never working with this band again. Oh, there's a guy right there I don't want to get caught by. All right, so he's just an idiot who's clapping his hands like a dolphin or, or, or a seal, rather. All right, so let's get by real quick. All right, we're all right, we're all right. You don't see me. You don't see me. Just need to know where you're going next, buddy. He's coming this way. All right. Stop him there. This is where having explosives really do come in handy because you could just set something in their path and run. Fortunately, the golf ball only works by being thrown. It does not just blow up if someone steps on it or near it. So I just want to wait for this guy to do something more excluded. Secluded. Whatever I'm trying to say. So he's going back here. Not great. There's a bunch of guards back this way, too. What are you doing? You drinking? He's eating. Well, I don't know, guys. I'm confused. And you didn't see me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything other than just uh, kill, 
kill him and run. We could try a syringe, but unfortunately there are so many people who are going to see that if I do it. Like sneak behind him and just stick him in the butt and run, but man, that's not going to be easy. Right, look how surrounded they are. I think my best option is shoot him and then get in the box fast. And hope no one sees me. Maybe even throw a golf ball at him. That may be the move. Excellent work, 47. Get in the box, get in the box! Yes! You should get back to the They have no idea where I am. Alright, I think we are in the clear. Let's get out. Someone took the body? Why was I... Now, one thing I want to do before I leave is go check the supplier and see if he has anything fun. And he is in the basement. Man, that's a long way to go. All right, let's see if I can get past this guy without being noticed. Yes, I can. See if there's anyone down here that'll notice me. There is, but he'll go back inside that room, I think. Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, I'm in a pincer. I'm in another pincer. You guys, you're killing me here. All right, we're just going to take the pipe down. All right, we're good. Go, 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 go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You don't notice anything. Hip. Now this time the guy does not care that I'm on the second floor and hanging out on the pipe. <laughs> what, the, what the hell is that man doing up there? Who? All right, we're good to go. All right, now we just need to get down to the basement, buy something with all these mercies before we end up losing them somehow, and we're done with this area. Don't mind me. I think we'll be able to do one. One more mission, I think, for this episode. Maybe two. Depends on how slow things are going. <gasps> Thank you. Uh, that door is normally locked and someone opened it. I may not be able to be down here. No, I'm fine. I don't work for the hotel, but they'll let me walk in here for some reason. If you got the cash, I got the product. I suppose so. Yes. Now, let's see what you got, lady. All right, so we have another handgun. We have a shotgun, a rifle, and the most expensive sniper rifle in the game. I can't get that one. Uh, I tend to go with the cheaper ones simply because the more expensive ones require a lot more work to buy them, but I think this might be a good time to buy that to maximize my investment. The hand grenade and we'll take the lethal poison, which I may not need. I'll be around if you need more. All right, let's get out of here. Yep. 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 Everything this okay? will be Good. far from the sloppiest mission I've ever done. I had an Isle of Scale mission, Scale, I don't know how you say that, where I started at the top of the crumbling bell tower, I think it's a bell tower, and I tried taking down a guard to get a disguise to move around more freely, and almost immediately got caught by them, and I had to post up at the very top of the tower and basically just wait for all the guards in the area to come and investigate, try to stop me. I ended up killing... 40 or 50 guys before I could move. <laughs> so this this wasn't clean, but it was certainly not the worst mission I've ever run. Impressive work, 47. Let me know when you're ready for your <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. I wouldn't call that impressive. <laughs> but the good news is we're out of the dangerous missions. So now we can be a little more relaxed in what we're doing. And also I saved this very expensive gun. Now I have all the shotguns. So that was a very good finish to that mission. 
even though the middle and start of it maybe didn't go as clean as I would have liked. And let's go ahead and get rid of a whole bunch of stuff so that we have as little as possible on my body before we start looking at what we need to do. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna keep the crowbar and I'm gonna keep the seeker dart because those are almost always useful. Uh, if I can find a lock pick, that would be even better because it is only one in the gear score, gear capacity score. And it's a lot less high profile for opening doors than the uh, crowbar. Crowbar is faster though. That's the difference between the two of them. Miami it is, because it has one safe and two couriers that we can try, get, try to take out. Perfect shooter, poison at a target with a dart gun, and poison a target with sedative. So, this may be one of those rare instances where I would be better off taking a tranquilizer gun, which I do happen to have right here. These are very expensive, though. The Seeker which was in the supplier's inventory was 40,000. That is a lot of money. I don't have a, a tranquilizer gun yet, but I think we'll be all right. We have one target to take down, so we're gonna take the risk. And if I lose it, so be it. All right, I have this. And let's see if Perfect Shooter requires a kill with the handgun. Do not miss a shot. You will fail if any... Sh okay, so, yeah, as long as I don't miss a target, that's not a big deal. We'll take a cheap gun or an easily replaceable one. We'll take the HWK covert. All right. Uh, did I check the crate here? I did not. Let's check it real quick. Sedative syringe. That may be the way to go, actually. What are my unsilenced pistol kill epic, assault rifle kill epic. So I said I was going to take a silenced weapon. Well, I'll tell you what. Mm, we're going to try to do the assault rifle kill. And we're going to do it with this bad boy right here, which is epic. Now, in order to be able to use this safely, we will probably have to get a disguise, but that one's actually pretty easy in Miami. So let's go ahead and take this. And I am going to Miami, right? Yes, I am. So, last thing, let's go get a banana. Start every day with a healthy dose of potassium. <laughs> the banana and I think it's light enough well no it's not it's not I was gonna say we could try to find a rusty nail but we don't need it I have a crowbar I think rusty nails actually have two gear score or two gear weight so that's not a great pickup if I'm already one away from the highest gear capacity by the way I didn't mention this in the first episode but you actually do gain gear capacity over time as you level up your mastery. I started at, I think, six, and now I'm at 12. So it does go up. Welcome to Miami. We have been informed that the Syndicate is currently in operation here. Find the target and eliminate. Well, you know do. what to do, 47. All right, so let's see where we're talking. Come on. Ooh. Okay, so I think I know which one this guy is. I've seen him in a previous mission. This is a security guard, and if I'm not mistaken, he walks in this building right here, this security area building. So we will need a security outfit to get to him. The Mercer, or the Courier, is back that way, and the safe is in one of the garages. The easiest way to do all of the objectives here is going to be getting an outfit from one of the Kronstadt security guards. And I think there's two Mercers actually, or I keep saying Mercers, uh, couriers rather. And if the other one is inside the Kronstadt facility, that might be the better way to do this. But we're gonna do 
a quick security guard takedown, take his outfit, and then use that to get over to where the Kronstadt security guards are hanging out on the backside of the medical facility. All right, first things first, we can get a security guard out here. Put that down. Wait for him to come outside. There he goes. Wait for him to okay. turn that on. My logic. Yeah. And on. Take him down, take his outfit, and then just leave. I've done this a couple of times, and no one ever comes back here. And best of all, I can take this out now. Apparently, the security guards at a race in Miami are okay to use assault rifles as part of their equipment. I didn't Not make the game, Ready to I just played. it. Next thing, we want to get to the back of the parking garage. Take the exit this way. Right over here, that'll see us. We should be right. Get past him. Oh. There's a fence we need to get past. Should be all right. Those cards, I don't think, ever come back here. Pop it with the crowbar. Now we need to get all the way back here to another fence that will have to pop again. Right here. Pop this fence. Run to the top. And there is a guard sleeping at the very top, or at least one of the Kronstadt security guards. Kronstadt security is high enough in level of uh, access that they can get into the garages usually. I don't know if they can get into all of them. They can get into the Kronstadt ones, obviously, because they're Kronstadt employees. But I believe I can do all the garages. Okay. So now we have uh, we have what we need to get around most of the security. Oh, come on. We have what we need to get around most of the security on the back side of the speedway where all the garages are. Got another crowbar? No, oh, it's the axe. Well, if you needed to get an axe kill, that one is almost always there because I've seen it before. Alright, so. I'm telling you, Miss Knox is going to be pissed. I did the pre race check on her. Right here, well, you can get into the garages. There's a staircase right here you can climb. And I'm pretty much everyone thinks you're supposed to be here, so they usually don't have any enforcers that'll stop you. At least not on this difficulty. The higher up you go, obviously, the more of them that start appearing. Uh, let's go to this stairwell here. I don't know if I have a pit building key or not. I do not. So we may need to take something. Also, I see an enforcer right there. Let's see if there's one down here. There should be. Right there. Yoink. Also, if you need to get into the Kowloon Bay, I think this is a Kowloon suit. It is. Kowoon? Kowoon? I'm not sure how you say that. Alright, he doesn't have any idea if I'm supposed to be here. Swipe in. Thank you for that. Go in. Alright, I am not supposed to be here. Oh. This could be risky. Alright, we're gonna take the chance. Here we go. Oh! 
I made it. I made it. But this is the wrong bay. I need to be here. Open. Alright, so this is trespassing as well. But this bay is remarkably empty. So I just need to get two guys out of the way and then we can open that safe probably pretty safely. First things first, let's see if we can get one of them in here. No dice. Okay, take two. <gasps> Whoa. Who? Alright, uh, what can we do? I don't want to waste a dart on this guy if I don't have to. Can I hide anywhere in here? Oh man, there are no hiding places. Let's do this. Well, I hate to do it, but this may be the way to get him. Just hit him with a trank dart while the other guy is doing his own thing, and then we can get that guy out of the way. Hello? There we go. Take this. Take this. Open. Drag. And leave him here. Door closed. Door closed. Now let's just knock this guy out real quick. Doink! And let's get this safe open real quick. One down. Gotta move fast because I have a feeling this bay is gonna get more people in it eventually. Two. Number three. Where's number three? Number three. Done. Get that safe. Get the hell out of here. Again, this is never required to finish a mission. This is purely just for getting a little extra cash. And we can get out, I think, right here. Ta-da! All right, so we have, uh, I see, two couriers. Ooh, oh, that's a juicy target. Mm-mm-mm. Let's go get that guy if I can. And we're gonna be ease. It's gonna be a lot easier going up top here and cutting across, but there's a guy hiding behind one of the race pavilions, the VIP lounges, all the way back this way. If he goes back there once, he'll probably go back there again. If he does, you can just hit him on the head and take his money real quick. He's probably already moved, though. Let's see, where was he? I'm facing the area he was posted up in. Yeah, right back here. Perfect. As long as there's no cameras, I don't see any. It's a test of can I get in here? I can and they don't care. <laughs> Ooh. I gotta go with the proxy explosive. Because that I can take back with me. That is a freelancer tool. So I'll take that. I'm gonna open this. And we're just gonna wait for this guy and see what he does. Because there's a waiter right there and he may or may not stay out here. If he stays out here, we may have to wait until the courier goes back inside and then pop him. And I don't know if there's a box to hide anyone in back here. I don't see one. I do see another crowbar. Unfortunately, those crowbars you can't take with you. It's interesting. Certain things you can take as a freebie Whenever you leave one of the maps. I don't feel safe here. Head down, keep walking. All will be good. All right, easy. Oh man, they made that easy. 
Take the cash, and let's go. The other courier is actually right around the corner. Oh, that's insane. They put these guys way too close together. Oh, and they made this one easy, too! Wow. I'll have to get rid of the security guard right here. Or I could just use the banana. I gotta know where he goes, but once I figure that out, it's, it's just a simple plant, planting in his path. Alright, so he walks this path right here. Let's get right there. And then when he comes back, he'll slip on it, and we can just take the cash and run. It may be a while, though, because he's probably walking around to the front side of the, uh, of the facility. Alright, let's go ahead and pop this. Someone heard that, but that's not a big deal. Put this away. All right, so now we need to get back to the front side where the security guard is. Or who I believe is the security guard, who is our target. Good to see I know exactly where I'm going to take him down, because this one was fairly easy once he figured out his route. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Easy. Let's go see if he has anything we can use. If I need to have a backup. Hey, you need anything? I got some cool stuff. Lead the way. All right, so... He has a freelancer version of the tranquilizer gun. He also has an explosive... No, it's a concussion. All right, so we'll leave that stuff for now. Nothing that I can really make use of. I already have a calmer. There is still some time to go, folks. Now let's go ahead and get in position. Good news is, because I am a security guard, even though I'm not one of the event security, I'm with Kronstadt, I can actually get in this facility. No one will care. That door was locked, which is why I did that. Now it's not. And that guy right there is a security guard. So here's what we need to do. He's going to walk in there, look around a little bit. He'll go back here to the interrogation room, hang out here for a little bit. And then when he gets bored, he'll start walking back this way to exit the building on this side. All I got to do is wait for him to come in here, shoot him in the butt with the calmer dart, shoot him in the head with the assault rifle, and take off. There he goes to the interrogation room. And best of all, there's a place to hide the body once it's all said and done. So this one's gonna go pretty clean to finish. Assuming I don't botch it somehow. Which I wouldn't put it past me to have that happen. Oh, all right, there we go. The courier slipped on the banana. Now we're just going to hang out here. Here comes our target. Dart. Rifle. Done. Member eliminated. Well done, 47. Since it was silenced, no one had any us. idea I did it. I'll contact you later. Hide the bodies just to be safe. Take the gun. Go get the courier's money. And get the heck out of here. That is how things ideally would go.
I don't like that they gave me a fail on perfect shooter because I hit the target once with a bullet and because when you just tap the trigger, you double shoot. The second bullet hit nothing, quotey fingers, even though it technically was two shots to the head. Since the target was already dead, that didn't count as a shot to a target. So they kind of screwed me out of that 500 bucks. I'm actually a little offended. I think I earned that perfect shooter. Alright, get this open. Get this open. Clean my cash. Yoink. And now we just need to get out. Look out mm. for the fireworks. Moses There's an exit right there. If I'm not mistaken, that is one we needed a crowbar to access, so that shouldn't be a problem. We have a crowbar already. Uh, we'll have to go this way because that guy knows we're not a Kronstadt employee. Or is this just a door? This might just be a door. No, it's a sewer. Okay. There we go. We're out. That one went very clean compared to the Bangkok chapter. That one was very satisfying. It doesn't happen often, but occasionally when you're running these, you'll get a nice clean run. That should have been perfect, but unfortunately the game kind of screwed me over. And because my gameplays are not without an incredible sense of irony, the second I said how cleanly the game ran, the game crashed. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Well, the good news is the game actually did save my progress, so I didn't lose anything by it crashing at the very last second as I was exiting the map. Uh, we did complete it. It was still a very clean run. Uh, that said, uh, yeah, we, we don't have a really good finish to this particular episode. I have a little bit of video I tried to capture immediately after a crash and I reloaded the game, but for whatever reason, the mic didn't record any of the audio that I used to finish it the second time. So uh, I'll just go ahead and call the episode here. Uh, that's going to do it for episode two. Uh, episode three, uh, and this I'm saying all this in post, episode three didn't have any major issues. That actually goes very clean as well, but uh, we'll see that in the next one. Uh, again, that's going to do it for episode two of my Hitman Freelancer campaign run. As always, I do appreciate each of you watching, and I will see you next time.